Another example is some data fetch unit. So the input is the address to fetch. The cache will be checked first. And if there's a miss, then it'll have to be fetched from external memory. And the check requires that the latency from a request to memory in the case of a miss is four to six cycles. So basically, our problem is how do we not front whether the request will result in a miss or not? So this is where we use data tagging. We're going to use one address bit here. We choose arbitrarily bit 13 as an early decision of whether there will be a cache hit or miss. If the bit is set, bit 13, and it's a hit. If the bit 13 is zero, that means a miss. So what we need is some assumption that will do that for us. So this assumption ensures that this signal here, cache hit, indicates whether there will be a hit or a miss. So if the cache is valid and the cache is ready, the cache hit will equal whatever the value of bit 13 is in the address. And then what we can say is if we have a request valid and that bit is not set, that means there's going to be a cache miss. So we require that. We have four to six cycles and then mem valid occurring because we've had a cache miss. So the zero for bit 13 indicates a cache miss. So we don't require that. Four to six cycles are mem valid if there is a cache hit, of course, because we won't be going out to external memory. Considerations when using data tagging, and this tells you why it's not easily automated, if at all, is tags can only be applied to unused input bits. So that's reserve fields, for example, IDs and so on. And it cannot be used as values in control path of the DUT, because obviously that will affect its behavior. So basically that value must be able to propagate to the DUT outputs unchanged. And a formal environment must not restrict values on those bits. And the reason for that is because that will deviate from what the design behavior would be. So it's okay to have stability constraints because that allows all values to be seen and does without preventing values. Tagging only makes sense in formal. Simulation will not respect any of those assumptions because in simulation, assumptions mean nothing. And in fact, in the cadence simulator, assumptions are converted to asserts, which will cause a problem in any case. You'll see those failing for no good reason. So the recommendation then is don't use tagging for interface protocol properties, only for end-to-end -end checks. Be careful to scrutinize what you're doing, i.e. you're not over constraining when using tags, because that is a common source of over constraints, and it's not just one constraint itself, it's the interaction of them. So validate somehow, using covers probably, that tag bits follow the rules you're expecting them to follow.